The sinkhole that sank in a stretch of US 36 in Westminster is a reminder that Colorado's soil is not always stable. Now, lest you're tempted to say, stinks to be you, CDOT. Well, there's a chance that unstable soil is under your house. Here's a new Sheroy. A lot of us pay attention to what is easy to spot, the construction, the roadblocks, the noise. We might also want to pay attention to what's silently happening beneath our feet. So we have expansive clay soils, so if they don't condition it, uh, it can expand or contract uh, so much that it will actually damage buildings. Expansive soil is found along the Front Range, Western Slope, Grand Junction and Durango, and it lives up to its name. Engineers say when dried soil absorbs water, it behaves like a marshmallow expanding in the microwave. Now imagine that happening underneath your home. Six inches to 18 inches, depending on where you're at. Todd Johnson is a president of Terraforma Solutions. And even an inch or two it sometimes can cause some problems. He says the main culprit is water, and that can come from a leaky hose, a drain spout that releases near a home's foundation. And he estimates around 75% of projects along the Front Range deal with expansive soil. Getting into areas that have not been developed before. Uh, so the material has never been treated. Um, it's never seen pressures like it would with uh, putting construction of roadways or utilities or homes on it. A lot of builders are proactive. They can dig deep into the ground to treat the soil or replace it altogether or build a very deep foundation. And it adds about 20 grand per lot in development costs. That average cost is usually folded into what the buyer pays, but the Colorado Association of Realtors said it's so common along the front range, it wouldn't be a major cost factor, but could be in rural areas. When the soil dries out, it can settle back to where it originally was, much like this marshmallow, taking with it the home above it. A lot of times you'll see that cycle occur, you know, over a 10 year period. And that's a, that's a lot of times why you have 10 year warranties on your foundations. So this kind of soil is found across the country, but one of the experts says it's a little bit more common here in Colorado, of course, impacting commercial buildings as well. A couple of key questions you can ask when buying, like how deep down was the soil when it was tested and how much does it actually expand? Just things as a buyer you might want to know before you sign up on that paperwork. When people think about like shifting and settling soils right. around a house, they see dollar signs. Oh yeah, absolutely. But most of the time, because it is so common, it's mm -hmm. just kind of folded in to the cost in the first place. So it shouldn't be any kind of surprise down the, if, down the road. If it's on the front end. All right, Anusha, thank you.